Hey, what is up guys? It's Lupak back with another Albin Online video for you. And today's video, we're talking about the thing that has just been announced today on the Albion news pages and on the forums and it's the off-season Crystal GVG tournament. So you guys have obviously seen my Crystal League videos, you've been aware of the Crystal League that's been happening for the last couple of seasons and I've been quite vocal on uh, on the forums and on the stream about some changes I'd like to see with it. Obviously last season we had our first full season of Crystal League and one of the sad things for me was all of the level 9s were played simultaneously and we didn't really have an overall winner. Everybody either won or or lost their match and we had a bunch of guys that won level nines and one team that unfortunately won via a no-show which was a bit anticlimactic for them now there was hopefully a plan or an optimistic plan to try and get a crystal tournament between the current seasons but there just wasn't time really to get it done uh, so they pushed back the announcement and this is going to be a tournament that's going to be taking place now off season between season nine which is the current season and season 10. this is hopefully going to be a recurring feature and will be a great way for the top teams to battle it out for some quite frankly insane prizes which i'm going to talk about in a bit so just some information the first tournament will take place between season 9 and 10 sometime after august the 10th um, i imagine i will be there live casting it on albion tv so make sure you're following twitch.tv slash albion online to see all the live action now the first thing we're going to talk about is the entry criteria the tournament is open to teams that win a level 9 Crystal League match during Season 9. Now, that doesn't mean a lot to some of you, I'm sure, who are newer to the game. But basically, the level 9 matches only happen once per season at the end of the season. So everybody will get three chances to get a level 9 token. Uh, that will The level 8 match will happen three times in the season. But they'll only get one shot of the level 9, which is kind of harsh if you just instantly queue into the best team in the game and your tournament life is just gone in my opinion i'd like to see every team that wins a level eight be qualified for the crystal tournament instead of having to win a level nine because that kind of leaves it all to the last day um and it it just seems a bit of a cruel way to do it especially with level nine currently being a best of one that's another story i've always wanted level nine to be best of three but we don't have the technology yet so in my opinion I would like to see that the teams that win a level eight, obviously that would lead to a bigger tournament because there'd be a bigger pool of teams, but we'd have a cooler, you know, knockout tournament with a lot more teams participating and a wider range. And, you know, God forbid that a team gets a level nine and has a DC during their match or, you know, has internet problems or something like that, or someone has a real life emergency or a real life commitment on the one exact day that level nine happens. You know, level nine only happens one day across the 85 day season at one specific time. So if you're not available for that one specific time, you can't qualify for the finals, which kind of sucks, but th there has to be an entry criteria. I just think in my opinion, level eight winners should be qualified. Uh, the exact structure is a work in progress and will be based on the number of teams participating. The following rules apply to the final. Battles will be full loot, uh, which is fair enough. You know, we want it to be consistent with Crystal League itself. Battles will be full loot. The IP cap will be the same as level 9, 1700. So teams are going to be in 8-1 excellent or 8-2 gear. Maybe even see the 8-3 brought out for this. 1700 is no joke IP. But 8-2 excellent is, is pretty easily going to reach 1700. But a lot of the best teams, especially when they see the prizes... Are definitely going to want to pull out their absolute biggest gear for this and you'll see why in just a minute the match runs on a 30 minute timer this is actually just an interesting one instead of the standard 25 minute timer it runs on a 30. Uh, i assume this is to prevent like draws or something i don't know or to have like really close matches go even further just seems odd that they move it from 25 to 30. and then each round you win it delivers the level three off season reward, which I believe off the top of my head is like 1.1 million silver and some fame tomes, which like, let's be real. This is, this is a non factor. You might as well give no rewards at this point because for the 1700 IP cap, most people's weapon in one set will be worth 
close to or let more than the reward for winning a round so it's kind of, you kind of get a token reward and a few fame books but really when you're playing 1700 level 9 ips the level 3 off season reward is is not going to matter but what is going to matter is the grand prizes now this is this is mind boggling to say the least right so if you've seen my rare mounts video you will know that the rarest mount in the game is the Sabertooth Rex. Only six of these were ever created and they were given way back when to a team that won the Arena Masters tournament which was hosted and casted by myself and a guy called Gusky. Now they've been floating around the whereabouts of some of them are unknown some of them have been consumed now that they've become skins but to give you an idea these have recently been trading hands at around 5 billion silver okay so to say each player on the winning team is going to receive the Sabertooth Rex skin and 10k gold that means that one team potentially is going to get 25 billion silver in skins if they're all from the same guild that could fund a guild till the end of Albion probably now I will go ahead and say this the recent trading price is 5 billion based on the fact that there's only six of them in existence and I believe three of them have been used that's why it's so high if we have a reoccurring tournament and we know that every three months five more are going to be generated that will drop the price now it won't tank the price in my opinion I think the trading price of these provided they're tradable would be around 2 to 2.5 billion because people know that they're not never going to get it again they know that more are going to be generated over time and they'll have another chance to buy them right now it's like an item where you have to snap it up if you see it because someone else might and you'll never see it again so that's really interesting about the skin now personally i would kind of like the winners to get them as a soulbound skin so that they use it and like it becomes you know their prestige skin look we won we won the gvg tournament we have the skin if they're tradable you know we're going to see more and more floating around in the hands of the big the big economy players stuff like that obviously people are going to be tempted to trade it in for 2.5 billion some people might use them some people might sell them but i just think it's a hell of a lot of money to inject onto one team like even at 2.5 you're looking at 12.5 billion silver which is an insane amount of money for a guild to get and especially one guild if they're all in the same guild it, it's just so far ahead of any reward the game has ever given out apart from the arena masters and back then we didn't know the skin was going to be that expensive because it wasn't a skin it was an actual mount and nobody ever wore it in the wild because you didn't want to get it looted so this is this is unprecedented this is insane in my mind second place gets a white tiger skin again which was an old recruiters mount uh, which was not stated to not be reoccurring these currently trade for around 350 million i believe and i believe post tournament these could uh these could probably trade for 200 million i think they're still going to be 200 million so the second place team's still going to get a billion in skins technically third place gets 5,000 gold which i assume means there'll be a third place playoff so this is this is cool like i think the whole thing is a cool idea i think it's awesome i do think the prizes are a little bit top heavy like that is that is a crazy prize to give around or give away especially if it's tradable and sellable but I guess it means it's all on the line and it gives teams something to strive for and play for this season's crystal league has been more populated than ever we've had hundreds and hundreds of teams in a single time slot like the activity in gbg is higher than ever and i'll be soon putting out a video on how to get started in crystal league and what everything means for you guys who are maybe watching this and have no idea what's going on with crystal league it just seems like this crazy thing a good place to start though if you are looking to get into crystal league in the meantime check out my meta snapshot videos and then check out my crystal league battle videos so you can see my team playing with comms and you can get an idea of how it plays anyway that's it from me on this i just wanted to like make this video because this news was just announced today i wanted to discuss this with you guys uh just talk about my thoughts about the craziness of the prize like it's 
it's wild, but it's awesome because I'll be casting it and it's going to be so hyped. And I'm sure there'll be tons of viewers wanting to see the best of the best throw down in the Gucci gear for the biggest prize Albion has ever seen. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to talk about this in the comments below, feel free or let me know any other videos you'd like to see. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you soon.